Weather First with meteorologist Joshua Rivas. All right, good Monday, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your Monday. So again, we had some showers this morning that rolled through the area. It was also very cloudy as well, so kind of a gloomy start. But we're starting to see a little break in the clouds, and we'll see some more sunshine as we go to tonight, or at least through this evening. We won't see sunshine at night, but it'll be clearing out as we go through tonight. And then tomorrow looks a lot better with rather comfortable conditions and temperatures in the upper 70s with plenty of sunshine. So again, relatively pleasant uh, with sunshine as we go through tomorrow. And then we have a backdoor front. Again, we've talked about this before. A backdoor front just moves in from, say, the northeast versus the traditional more northwesterly pattern. So that will start out on Wednesday. That's our first front. And then a real cold front comes in from the northwest as we go into Thursday, and that increases our rain chance further on Thursday. Right now, again, no severe weather expected. Just a few thunderstorms may be possible on Thursday as the front moves through, but nothing too major. As we go into week, Friday into the weekend, sunshine is back. We're cooler again, even below normal as we go into next weekend. So dry for tomorrow, a lot of sunshine in place. First half of Wednesday, mostly dry. Moisture begins to increase late Wednesday into Thursday. We dry out just as quickly as the moisture moves in as we go Friday into the weekend with our next front. Now it gets kind of complicated exactly what's going to be happening here. So let's look at the upper levels here. So we had that first trough that moved in yesterday that brought us to cooler temperatures. Not so much the sunshine, but the cooler temperatures and then more comfortable conditions. And that's also doing it for us for today. We have a reinforcing trough that's bringing in that backdoor front for tomorrow. Then we'll have another trough by Thursday and Friday. So again, Wednesday and Thursday, the winds on the surface come out of the more east to southeasterly direction. So that will make us a little bit more mild. As we go into Saturday, notice this very deep trough across the eastern seaboard, and that's helping to yank in the cooler temperatures by the time we go into the weekend. We're looking at the mid-level winds here. I haven't really showed this before, but uh, the stronger winds usually round the base of a trough when it comes through. So you can see the one that just left us, very strong winds. The one that's coming through tomorrow, not so strong. So again, a very weak backdoor front moving through. As we go Thursday and Friday, notice the first half of the trough, not very strong. It's not until Saturday and Sunday when you notice the really stronger winds pick up once that trough begins to strengthen. This correlates to the fact that the temperatures will be cooler for the weekend than for Friday. Also, the dew points will be a lot lower, a lot drier as we go Saturday and Sunday versus, say, on Friday. We'll be dry on Friday, but it won't feel, I guess, as comfortable and as dry as, say, for the weekend. Temperature maps here, we're staying seasonable. We're not going to be cold, but we're seasonable. We'll take it. Wednesday, a little bit more mild. Notice by the end of time here, we're looking at the much cooler temperatures coming down the eastern seaboard. Much colder, though, as you go further north up towards the northeast. Temperatures for today will be close to where they should be this time of year in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Again, clearing skies as we go into the evening from north to south. Tonight, temperatures mid-50s inland, upper 50s to around 60 degrees near the coast. Relatively cool night under partly cloudy skies. The marine forecast rest of today, again, becoming mostly sunny. Winds, maybe a slight breeze, seas two feet, and a moderate chop. For the beaches, sunset will be at 749 this evening. Surf one to two feet, a slight breeze again. Temperatures in the mid-70s. Look at the setting forecast here. Temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees for the short term through Thursday. There's that front, though, turns breezy behind it. And we'll have to see if it stays breezy for the weekend, but otherwise temperatures look to drop below normal on Saturday, both lows and highs. But more importantly, there will be a lot of sunshine back into our area. That's it for now. Another web weather update will be coming up later on today.